Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. On today's video, we are going to talk about tuples. But before we talk about them, I need to introduce two concepts. So, on today's video, we are going to interact with the file module to read files from the file system. And if you press a dot and then tab on your keyboard, you're going to see that you have a bunch of suggestions. The first concept that I wanted to teach is what the hell is this slash number here that we see everywhere? Like whenever I press tab, I can see that all the functions, they have a weird slash number at the end. What is this? This is the function arity. It is used to show you how many arguments the function is expecting. So you can have on Elixir, you can define the same function multiple times expecting different parameters. So you can have, for example, a CD function expecting one parameter, but you can also have a CD function expecting two parameters. And the second concept that I wanted to show you today is this exclamation mark. Like what the hell is this? If I have an exclamation mark at the end, what does this mean? This means that if any type of error happens during this function call, then this function is going to raise an error. And if you don't have an exclamation mark at the end of the function, this is not going to raise an error. You're going to get a tuple back with an error atom inside. So as an example, let's read the documentation for file.cd. So you type h file.cd and then I want cd slash one. So uh, sets the current working directory and then returns OK if successful and then error plus the reason otherwise. So if there is an error calling this function, this is not going to raise an error. It's going to show you a tuple with an error at the first element and then the reason here. And if I take a look now at the file.cd, now this time I want cd exclamation mark with the arity of one. Here you can see the same as cd uh, arity one, but it raises a file error exception if it fails. Okay. And actually one final thing is that, uh, let me see if there is a, one second, read, okay. You might also see that you could end a function with an exclamation mark, but you could also end it with a question mark. And as you might think, the question mark is gonna return a Boolean at the end, okay? All right, that's enough of a tangent. Let's start off with tuples. What the hell are tuples? Tuples are a data structure used to save a fixed number of elements. So on a list, I can do operations like this, one, two, three, and then add another item like five, six, seven, and there you go, you have no problems. But a tuple, once you define it, like one, two, three, it's defined, it's fixed, you can you cannot do operations like this on tuples like adding the four five six you cannot do that because tuples they have a fixed size another interesting thing about tuples is that differently from lists they are saved sequentially in memory so if i have a tuple of two items then these two items are stored alongside each other on memory and I can easily access them here uh, using the lm function. So if I call the lm function on this one, two, tuple and I want to access the index zero, I'm gonna get one. If I want to access the index one, I'm gonna get two. Now I think this example is a little bit uh, confusing, so I'm gonna replace it uh, by a string. So here I have Daniel, 
and then on the second item I have my last name okay so if I get the first element of this tuple I get Daniel if I get the second element I get backwards and the LM is coming from the kernel module so you don't need to type kernel dot lm and do the same thing as above like this like you can do that but it's optional and since you might use this lm function very often uh, the kernel is auto imported so you don't need to worry about it okay so when exactly am i supposed to use tuples because i cannot see an example so to be honest myself I, I haven't created any tuples personally what i use tuples for is to read the result of function calls so now finally we're gonna use the file a module and to make that work i actually need to create a, a file here i'm gonna create a file dot uh, called hello.txt okay now if I call IEX once again I'm gonna call the function the file module dot the read function and I'm gonna try to open the hello.txt file watch what happens the result of the read function is an atom where the first element is the status of the operation it's usually an okay atom or an error atom and then the content inside the file it's an empty file so there's nothing here now watch what happens if I try to open a file that doesn't exist now I get a tuple it's the same two elements tuple it's always a two elements tuple where the first element is either okay or error and then the second element is like if the first one is an error it's usually here a status code or a reason why it uh, went wrong and then if the status is okay you're gonna get like uh, the function result on the second uh, element of the tuple so you are probably not gonna create tuples by hand you're just gonna read uh, the tuples from function calls so here I have an example from tech school I have a github module where I am calling the github API to get the contributors and and to show on the home page of tech school so here check this out uh, forget the switch case for now but what I'm doing here is I am trying to get the cache of the GitHub contributors. If I get a tuple with an OK back, actually I am checking if the result of the cache get is a new or another variable. If it's a new, it means that I got a cache miss. So I'm going to fetch the contributors and then put the result inside the cache. I could also get here the same OK tuple, but this time with a result. And if I get the result, that's a cache hit. So I just return the, the contributors. Or I could also get an error. Because whenever a function returns a tuple, it's either a tuple with OK in the first element or error on the second element. So yeah, tuples, they're used to handle uh the results of operations of function calls in a more organized way you're gonna see this pattern a lot throughout an elixir code base you have a switch case that tries to do an operation and then you do some pattern matching on the tuple result to check if the result was successful or not and as i mentioned before if you're using the regular function without the exclamation mark at the end this is not gonna raise an error you're gonna get a tuple with the error at the first element now if I try to do the same but call the read function with the exclamation mark at the end now I get an error it raised an error 
So it's up, up to you which one do you want, if you want to raise an error or not. Usually, we do not want to raise an error. We want to call the function without the exclamation mark and then handle the error on the code. Okay, so that's tuples, a data structure with a fixed uh, size, and they are saved sequentially in memory. So if you want the first or the second element, for example, it's easily accessible. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. See you next time.